Brian from Jet Performance Products, coming to you today from our headquarters in Huntington Beach, California. Today we're going to install a Jet Performance module in a 2014 F-150 pickup with a 5 liter engine. The module is going to gain you about 18 to 20 horsepower through our wheels and a little bit of mileage if you keep your foot out of it. Now let's go see how easy this is to install. Now we're going to install the Jet Power Control module in the 2014 Ford F-150. First, let's disconnect the negative battery cable. Make sure we don't short anything out. Anytime you're working on electrical, you want to make sure that's off. Pull that aside. Now, we're going to remove the connectors, then the computer. The reason we're removing the computer from the firewall, it's just easier to get some leverage on the module to push it in. Remove the connectors. Remove the 10 millimeter bolts. That nuts that actually hold it to the firewall. This is nutted and studded for a couple of ground cables. Move the other ground cable. It studs out. Pull the firewall or computer out of the firewall itself. Now we're going to go take this over to the bench and do our install of the jet power control module. Now that we've got the PCM out of the truck, we're over here on the bench. Just because it's easier to install and you get a little more leverage over here to push the connector down. So we're connecting in this connector here. We're going to install the jet module, plug it onto it, give it a little wiggle going over it, push straight down, lock it in. That's it, the module's installed. We go back to the truck and reverse what we just did. Okay, we're back at the vehicle now. You're simply going to reinstall this in the firewall, where it came from. Put your studs back in. Make sure you reconnect the ground wires that you took off earlier. Put the nuts back on those. Tighten down the nut for the ground wires. Reinstall the wiring harnesses, plug them back in, push down on them, it'll pull them back in, and reconnect the vehicle. Now on the jet one you need to push down and pull over it. That's it. Reconnect your negative battery cable, which you took off earlier.
and your installation is complete. Go drive the vehicle, give it 50 to 100 miles to relearn the drive cycle, and you're in good shape, ready to go. Get yours at www.jetchip.com and check us out at Facebook and Instagram at Jetchip.